Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I have just uh, w caught uh, the live streaming of Marama Davidson, the co-leader of the Green Party's press conference. She is at Parliament, currently flanked by her Green Party caucus. Uh, and she has announced uh, that she has breast cancer. She's been diagnosed with breast cancer and will be having an operation, I assume, to get the breast or up breast or breasts off. Um, on from June the 29th, she's expected to go into surgery and then to recover from it. Uh, she's saying the best cost uh, possible scenario um, is that she'll be out for about at least four months um, from her role as co-leader of the Green Party. Uh, and that unfortunately, during that period of time, there is in actual fact a leadership um, vote for the co-leader of the... So, but she'll still be standing for it, uh, even though she won't be there. Um, mm. Um, and uh, she expects to be, uh, if everything runs relatively smoothly, and they generally do, it has to be said, although nobody would like having their breasts off, would they? No, seriously, they wouldn't. But um, but they, uh, not a lot, and I don't know what the death rate is for breast cancer if, if you have the operation. I know what it is if you don't. Um, then she'll be four months. So, and... All on this, I feel I feel that's dreadful. Uh, it doesn't matter that she's of a different political party or bent or ideology. I have no difficulties at all uh, with that, and I have uh, my initial, as it would be of any human being, is initial sympathy for somebody who finds themselves, yes, and and their family, because she is also a mother and a grandmother as well, and and, and a wife, um, and particularly to the family of Mara Davidson. This is a bad thing and um, ta-da but and here's the but I've just watched Mara Davidson over the last 10 minutes politicise her personal plight in a way that I would not have believed possible instead of putting out a statement um, she has used it as a way of extolling the virtues and values of the Green Party um, and of having a go at the New Zealand public health system for providing her, apparently, with a care that the rest of New Zealand might not necessarily receive, and how, whilst she's away, you know, there'll be other people still fighting for the people on the planet of this world who obviously won't, because only the Green Party can do that. It, it was the most appalling and dreadful politicisation of the personal I think I've ever seen, and I've just witnessed it. It was designed to use a, a personal adversity for distinct political and ideological advantage, that press release. Um, and I'm sorry, but my sympathy evaporated as I realised that this was being used, her personal circumstance, to seriously promote both the Green Party um, and the political agenda of the Green Party. And I just went, you're joking. You've got breast cancer, that's dreadful simple statement would have done, I'm out of here for four months, maybe sit down with a few journalists. No, we'll turn into a political event, we'll talk about the public health system, we'll talk about only the Green Party can do this, we'll talk about how wonderful all our colleagues are and just tremendous and only they can save the planet. And I'm going, and that, you know, I'm going to be getting care that not all New Zealanders are going to get access, but and I'm going to be fighting for you know, to have that access, blah, blah, blah. Oh, for Pete's sake! Um, so, gee, it's, surpro it's interesting, isn't it? It is always interesting uh, what you do in a time of adversity, but I wouldn't have thought that you would use it as a polemical uh, instruction or as um, a, a philosophical imperative to decide to tell everybody how wonderful the Green Party is and that basically only you people care. Only you people care. And that use your own personal uh, circumstance and adversity to promote that sort of nonsense. Ah. Oh. So, although I was sympathetic and going, ah, oh, it's not very good, and yes, it wouldn't be very nice for the family, oh, best of luck. Bang. I'm sorry, by the end of that particular press conference, I was gone. Ah, oh, great. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, mm. All right. So, there you go. That's what I think. That was my immediate reaction. Uh, if people declare me insensitive and in some way um, uh, unfeeling, you're wrong. I'm, I was sensitive and feeling when it started, and by the end, I was not. I had she'd done it all to be herself. I hope that her treatment for herself and her family uh, continues to be of use, that the public uh, health system of this country uh, will save her life. 
uh, and give her uh, back a life that obviously she feels anxious about uh, and with complete understanding. I understand that. But for God's sake, what is the matter, Marama? Do not use your personal adversity for political and ideological purpose. Yep. And boy, you've just done that. So good luck, he says. Eyebrows raised. That's my thoughts on that issue. What's yours?